Welcome to day five of our month of May for Mary. Some of you may have heard of Father Ronald Tangen. He had a wonderful Catholic book apostolate back in the 80s. He told this amazing conversion story from his own experience. He himself was converted by Our Lady and he was determined to convert his sister too. So he began the powerful 52-day Rosary Novena for her conversion. That's actually three novenas in petition for the desired grace and three novenas in thanksgiving, whether or not the grace is obtained. That means praying 15 decades every day for 52 days. So it takes effort, but it is powerful. Next, he told his sister that he was praying for her conversion and he gave her a rosary. Her answer was, I'm happy if you pray for me, but I'm not going to change my life. His answer was, we'll see. Now, as he continued the novenas for her conversion, she started to wake up at night with a pain in her leg, which kept her awake. Then she remembered the rosary her brother had given her, which she had put in her bedside drawer and forgotten about. Out of desperation, not being able to sleep, she took out the rosary, said a decade or two, and then fell asleep. This continued to happen every night. She would wake up with the pain, grab the rosary, pray a little, and fall asleep. At this point, she was only saying the rosary to help her fall asleep, but in any event, she was praying, which was a good thing. One night, she woke up as usual with the pain in her leg. She grabbed the rosary from her drawer, as usual, only this time she got angry and she threw the rosary in the other side of the room and then she fell back asleep. In the morning when she woke up, she found the rosary around her neck and she started to cry. She knew no one could have come into the room which she always kept locked. The Blessed Mother put it on me, she said, and she was converted. Flower for the day, begin the 52-day Rosary Novena today for the conversion of a loved one. Let's offer the Hail Mary now sung in Gregorian chant for this Father Tangen, who's done us so much good with his publications and for all the priests who have done us good. Ave Maria. Gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Together with her divine Son, may the Virgin Mary bless us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you.